Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. In today's video tip, we're going to take a look at underwater construction hazards. You'll learn how to identify these chart symbols and abbreviations on your nautical and electronic chart and the action to take to avoid grounding or damage to your small sailboat. These chart symbols and abbreviations come from chart number one, offered by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. See the link below this video to download a free copy of chart number one from the NOAA website. When you look in chart number one, you'll see three columns of chart symbols. The first column shows the international symbol. The second column, slight modifications to the international symbol most commonly found on paper and raster nautical charts. The third column shows symbols found on electronic navigational charts, or ENC. Underwater construction, such as reclamation or landfill, shows the area enclosed by dashed lines. The date the construction began will sometimes be shown next to the symbol in parentheses. If you are using an ENC, you can hover your cursor over the symbol to get a pop-up dialog box for more information on the construction project. Ruins are dangerous to all vessels, and the submerged section of a ruined pier or obstruction will show as dashed lines. Note the symbol may be accompanied by the abbreviation RU, which means ruins. Here on this chart, off Berkeley Marina in San Francisco Bay, Note how the submerged ruins begin well off the visible part of the old Berkeley Pier. Set your course to stay well clear of an extreme hazard like these ruins. Large vessels or ships are sometimes launched on a patent slip, also called a slipway or marine railway. It's a ramp with tracks that extends well out into the water. Much of the platform will be submerged, so you want to use extreme caution when navigating near a slipway. Common boat ramps have a similar design without the tracks or rails. As you can see in these chart symbols, dashes make up the submerged section of the hazard. Study your nautical or electronic chart and highlight or note dangers like these to keep you and your sailing crew safe and sound on the waters of the world. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.